Hello, it's Zainab Zaytoun. Today I'm gonna explain vectors for grade 9. I divided this chapter into three parts. In this part, the objectives are uh, to, rec to recall the definition of a vector, define equal and opposite vectors, find and construct the sum of two vectors, and at the end we'll do a direct application on these objectives. I advise you to copy this PowerPoint so after I finish each slide, pause the video, copy the slide, and then continue. Now, definition of a vector, suppose that you have two distinct points A and B. So the vector AB would be defined by the three characteristics, its direction, which is the line AB or any line parallel to AB, its sense, which is going from A to B, and its length, which is also called modulus or norm, which is denoted by AB, and it's simply the length of AB, segment AB. Now, A is called the origin of the vector AB, and B is called the extremity. Let's visualize this vector. So let's draw a vector AB, for example. Now, let's look at its characteristics. What's the direction of the vector AB? So the direction is the line AB, as stated here, or any line parallel to AB. So you can also draw any line which is parallel to AB. It will also be the direction of AB. So for example, this is also the direction of the vector AB, all of these. Now, the sense of the vector AB is from A to B, and the length is 3 cm. Now, equal vectors we call AB and CD equal if they have the same sense, direction, and same length. So, for example, AB, let's draw another vector, CD. Um, okay, CD. Are these two vectors equal? Let's, let's check its direction. In order to know if two vectors have the same direction, then the lines CD and AB should be, should be parallel. Since CD and AB are parallel, then they have the same direction. Here the sense is from A to B, here from C to D, so they have the same sense. The length here is 3 cm and the length of CD is also 3 cm, so they have the same length, so these two vectors are equal. Let's look at another vector, so let's look at CD for example. Are these two vectors equal? They do have the same length, which is 3 cm, but they aren't equal because they don't have the same direction, since they aren't parallel. Now what are opposite vectors? Opposite vectors, A, B and C, D are called opposite vectors if they have same direction, same length, but opposite sense. So, for example, A, B and C, D, they do have the same direction because they are parallel. They do have the same length, which is 3 cm. But what about the sense here from A to B and here from C to D? They actually have opposite sense, so these are called opposite vectors. Now, what are the zero vectors? A zero vector has the same origin and same extremity. So, for example, the AA vector is a zero vector, BB vector, CC vector, EE vector are all zero vectors. Now, this is a very important note, parallelogram. Let's recall first um, an equadrilateral ABCD. If A, B, and C, D, which are opposite sides, are parallel and equal, then A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. So, if A, B vector is equal to C, D vector, then A, B, C, D is A, B, D, C is a parallelogram. But why? Let's see if we have two equal vectors, A, B, and C, D. According to this, we will have that ABDC is a parallelogram. Notice the naming ABDC. Okay, so let's join it first. ABDC. Why is this a parallelogram? Since AB is equal to CD, then they have the same sense, direction, and length. Now, since they have the same length, so they are equal. Since they have the same direction, so the lines AB and CD are parallel. And this is enough to have ABDC parallelogram. So whenever you have AB equal to, D, to CD, then you can say that ABDC is a parallelogram. This is very important. Now how do we find the sum of two vectors? So if you're adding two vectors, there are two methods to follow. Either chaseless relation or parallelogram rule. 
Now we'll start with Chase's relation. So suppose that you have three points A, B, C which are different. Then A, B plus B, C will give you A, C. Let's look carefully at this relation. You have A, B plus B, C. Notice that the extremity of this vector is B and the origin of this vector is also B. So you have the same letter here and here. So you'll get A, C. Let's look at it uh, on the figure. So if you have A, B plus B, C like this. Notice that the extremity here is B and then the origin of B, C is again B. So we apply Chase's relation to get A, C. So you just join these two points and you put the arrow here, A, C. Let's do more examples. So this is the vector A, B and then I need to add A, C. So A, B plus um, no, A, B plus B, C, for example. So here, the extremity of A, B is B, and the origin of B, C is also B. So you apply chaseless A, B plus B, C will give you the vector A, C. Okay, now if you're not asked to draw the diagrams, you can do it directly, like this one. If you have AC plus CD, since the extremity here is the same as the origin here, you can directly know that it will give you AD using chaseless. Again, CE plus ED, you have E here and E here, so it will be CD. Again, AF plus FG will give you AG. Now, CD plus AC, you might not notice that you can use chaseless here because you might say that here you have extremity D and then here you have origin A, which are different. But the origin of this vector is C and the extremity of this vector is C. So you should know that you can use chaseless. Just to flip the position. So rearrange it as AC plus CD instead of CD plus AC. These are the same. But now you can notice that the extremity of this vector, which is C, is the same as the origin of this vector, which is also C. So you will get AD using chaseless. So that was for chaseless. Now how do we do do it using parallelogram rule when do you use parallelogram rule so when you're adding two vectors that have the same origin let's emphasize chaseless rule here you ha here the extremity of the first vector is the same as the origin of the second vector but in the parallelogram rule they have the same origin a b plus a c the sum of these two vectors will give you a d now what's d D is the fourth vertex of the parallelogram ACDB. Look at the figure here. AB plus AC will give you AD. So AD is actually the diagonal of the parallelogram. So before, before drawing AD, you need to complete the parallelogram. So you need to draw this parallelogram by yourself and name this D, for example. And, and then just join A and D. You'll get this vector let's do more examples so for example if you have a b plus a c since you're starting with the same origin a b plus a c so you use parallelogram rule and not chaseless so using parallelogram rule i'll get a d where d is the fourth vertex of the parallelogram so in order to know where's the position of d you need to complete the parallelogram so let's complete this parallelogram. This is D. So this is the parallelogram and this is D. So AB plus AC will give you the vector AD, which is actually the diagonal of the parallelogram. Okay. Now let's do a direct application um, on what we took in this video. So in this figure, A, B, C, D is a parallelogram of center O, and you have the points E, F, G, and H, midpoints of the sides. Answer by true and false. A, E is equal to G, C. Let's look at A, E and G, C. In order for these two vectors to be equal, they should have the same sense, direction, and length. Do they have the same direction? Yes, because they are parallel. They do have the same length. Now, what about the sense AE and GC? They do have the same sense, so this is true. Now, what about 
HO equal to GD. So look at the figure. HO equal to GD. HO equal to GD. Do they have the same direction? Yes, because they are parallel. Now, they are also equal, but do they have the same sense? HO and GD. HO and GD. So they have opposite sense, so they aren't equal, and they're actually called opposite vectors as we took today. So it's false. Now complete the following. <laughs> okay, HA plus HO. So now we're adding two vectors, so we either use chaseless or parallelogram rule. Since we have the same origin, so we're starting with the same letter, we use parallelogram rule. Look here, you have the extremity of the first vector is the same as the origin of the other vector, so you use chaseless relation, right? So let's go back to the first one, HA plus HO, using parallelogram rule, it will give you HE, where E is the fourth vertex of the parallelogram HOEA. So HE is essentially the diagonal of the parallelogram. So the answer here is HE. Try to do the, the rest by your own, so pause the video and try them. Now OE plus EB, OE plus EB. Since we can use chaseless, you don't need to use the figure, it's more easier here. So OE plus EB will give you OB using chaseless relation, as we did before. Now DH plus which, which vector will give you DO? Now you are you can use parallelogram rule or chaseless relation. Whenever you can use chaseless relation, it's easier. So dh plus which, vec which vector will give you do? You might think about it using parallelogram rule. So you, so you might say that dh plus dj will give you do, which is the diagonal of the parallelogram dgoh. Or simply by chaseless without referring to the figure. So dh plus which vector will give you do? Here you have d and you have d here. Now we still need o and you start again with h because uh, you don't need it and using chaseless as if it will cancel out. So dh plus h o because you need o and here the extremity and the origin is the same so you'll get do as desired. Now the same here, BC plus which vector you'll get BO. So here you have B and here you have also B. Here the extremity is C, so I'll start again with, with C. And I'll end with O because I need it here. So using chaseless, BC plus CO will give you BO. That's all for this part. Uh, if you have any question, don't hesitate to drop it down in the comment section. And wait for the other videos. Bye-bye.